thankfully didn't get hit, but did faint from the excitement as he dramatically and gracefully <laughs> fell out of his chair. Michael Cole. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back. What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out worst acting moments in WWE by Tap Out Corner, man. This should be a good one. Not all the time the acting uh, is um, Academy Award worthy. Recently, we've been seeing what they've been doing with the Bloodline is literally some of the best acting I've seen from wrestlers in quite some time. It seems real, seems believable. They've been killing it. Damn it, everybody in the Bloodline has been killing it. And then there's some times where the acting, you know, it's just like, what is this? This is awful. Get, what, what are we doing? This, no, it's not believable at all. So we're going to check out the moments where the acting was just not good and they're not getting awards anytime soon. Appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Let's get right into this one. On Raw in 2010, John Cena got ambushed by Sheamus and Batista. Luckily, Mark Henry is there to make the save and even the playing field. However, Batista's reaction was a bit delayed and he ended up falling down after Henry headbutted him. In 2010, <laughs> Titus O'Neil made his WWE debut as a rookie on NXT. The key word there is rookie. On the final episode of season two of NXT, Caval won the competition. Titus O'Neil, as well as the other rookies, rushed the ring and a brawl broke out. MVP ran in and gave O'Neil the player's boot, but Titus didn't sell it at all. Like I said, rookie. At least he gave us the world slide eight years later. <laughs> Bro, he didn't sell it at all. He just... And then kept... Bro man ooh, that's that. <laughs> he didn't sell it at all the main event of the 1996 survivor series saw Shawn michaels defend the wwe title against psycho sid sid was bigger and more powerful than sean but i didn't think he was this much stronger michael's <laughs> Yo, Sean stay selling, bro. Some of the most bizarre stuff happens once WWE goes off the air. One match in 2005 saw Triple H Classic and Ric Flair team up to take on Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton. During the fight, Orton caught Triple H with a boot. The game stood there oh, stunned yeah. and was <laughs> unable to move for over a minute until finally falling down. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I remember that. I'm like, I mean, it's, it's stuff like that. It, it can take you out, but at the same time, it's fucking funny. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Later in the match, HBK clonked Ric Flair and Triple H's heads together, and the two took a long moment before coming down. Yeah. <laughs> the King of Kings and the Nation Boys' performances were bad, but for all the right reasons. Seth Rollins and John Cena were all business for their tables match at TLC 2014. Mm -hmm. However, there was still room for some funny business. Cena gave Seth an attitude adjustment on the announcer's table. Michael Cole's doing commentary and thankfully didn't get hit, but did faint from the excitement as he dramatically and gracefully <laughs> fell out of his chair. Michael Cole. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back. We gotta go back, bro. Hold on. But did faint from the excitement as he dramatically go. and gracefully oh, fell out of his chair. The goal of the Royal Rumble is to stay in the ring for as long as that you can. That was great, man. Goldust must have forgotten that. During the 2006 Rumble match, the bizarre one got kicked by RVD. Van Dam wasn't able to eliminate Goldust, but that's okay. He Goldust eliminated himself. He threw himself <laughs> over the top rope. If you judge a WWE match based on how close it is to a real fight, then this is probably the worst WWE match ever. At SummerSlam, two wrestling icons, Hulk Hogan and Shawn Michaels, went one-on-one -on -one oh, in yeah. a dream match. However, the infamous Shawn Michaels match. acted more like a fish out of water <laughs> than a showstopper because he flipped and flopped all over the ring. Apparently, Shawn Michaels is mad because he and Hogan were supposed to have a rematch where Shawn would win. Mm -hmm. However, Hogan agreed only to do the one match where he won. This made Michaels the ticked off kid, and the performance Shawn gave at SummerSlam <laughs> was the result. Ironically, 15 years later, Michaels would do the complete opposite. 
In 2020, <laughs> Ric Flair returned to WWE and began managing Randy Orton. The partnership was short-lived as the Viper decided he didn't need the Nature Boy yep. to attack Flair. Mm, the next week, this. Shawn Michaels came out to confront Randy. However, HBK ended up getting an RKO from out of nowhere yep. and a punk kick to the head. Despite receiving two devastating finishing moves, Shawn Michaels acted like he was just a little dizzy. Michaels <laughs> got criticism from fellow wrestlers yeah. for this awful performance, and rightfully so. Yeah, bro, he's supposed to not move. I, I remember seeing this in him, bro. It was so cool to see this older version of Randy Orton taking out these legends and then bringing back the punt kick. Oh, that was so good, bro. And then this nigga get right back up. No, no, he was not supposed to get right back up. He was supposed to just, he probably, he would have been better if they just would have, he would have laid motionless because you got RKO then kicked into. <coughs> The gulags, bro. You're not supposed to move, son. While they aren't the stars of the shows, WWE commentators do play an important role. Their reaction can make moments feel big, mm -hmm. but they can also do the opposite, as seen by Todd Grisham's reaction to Christian returning after over three years away. It, it's Christian. <laughs> what was that? No. Oh my God! It's Christian. It's 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 Christian. If I'm listening to that on my headset. I'm gonna let you finish out the show, and then you you you're never doing commentary again on my show. Well, you know you may not even finish the show. Get, get off commentary. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back there. <laughs> At the AEW Revolution pay-per-view in 2021, 13 different tag teams competed in a casino battle royale match. One of the men participating was Evil Uno, but his elimination is what you want to see. Uno got hit by a Hurricane Rana, but waited until after the move was finished to start running. It ended up looking like the Dark Order member eliminated himself in the most cartoon way possible. Hulk Hogan might be one of those famous awful. wrestlers of all time, but there's a reason he never took off as an actor. Where am I? Here. I've never been here before. <laughs> ah, it's not hot. The reason the water wasn't hot was because it was. <laughs> on an episode of AEW Dynamite, the Young Bucks were taking on SCU. Oh. After the match, the Dark Order invaded the ring and started beating everyone up. Dustin Rhodes, aka Goldust, joined the fight but got attacked too. At least he was supposed to, but one of the Dark Order creepers instead oh chose to punch the air around God. Rhodes' head. In 2015, so Mark Henry was taking on Sheamus. <laughs> the Celtic warrior eventually went for a bro kick that didn't come anywhere near it didn't Henry's hit head. Him at Despite all. that, Mark still acted like it did. Christian is an incredibly underrated wrestler, but even the very best have made mistakes. In 2006, Christian found himself in a fatal four-way match against Sting, Samoa Joe, and Scott Steiner. At one point, Steiner grabbed Captain Charisma by the head, only for Christian to throw himself into the edge of the ring. <laughs> Don't you love it when the wrestlers beat themselves up? Despite being one of the most iconic WWE moments, Vince McMahon did a terrible job kicking the Stone Cold Stunner, mm -hmm. both in 1997 and in 2022. Oh, horrible. However, the award for the worst stunner goes to Vince McMahon. Linda, Blake. yep, in 2005, I knew it. Stone Cold returned to WWE. <laughs> he went on to give stunners to yep. every single member McMahon. of the McMahon family, including Linda. Linda's However, was awful, the former bro. president of WWE did a terrible job taking Steve Austin's finishing move. <laughs> she didn't to even... be fair, Linda wasn't a wrestler. Yeah, but Cena, on the other hand, I get it. You know, she just she wasn't. She turned away from it. It was funny. And has no excuse. At WrestleMania 34, two legends collided when John Cena took on The Undertaker. Despite them both being goats, there was a pretty bad spot. The dead man went for a big boot, and you could fit a truck in the space between Cena's head and Undertaker's foot. Of course, though, Cena acted like it hit him, even though the move clearly did it. Eva Jesus. Marie might be the most hated female WWE wrestler ever, and she didn't do much to try and win fans over. In her Raw debut, Eva Marie had to say just two sentences and they both sounded terrible. You know, Jerry, I don't like how you're looking at me. My name is Eva Marie, and I'm here to make a name for myself. Not only that, but Eva then gave one of the worst slaps ever oh to Jerry Lawler. God. These moments have all been pretty bad, hey. but check out this video <laughs> to see some 1,000 IQ WWE moves. Bro, that was bad. <laughs> what the fuck? No, oh, this is why I love wrestling sometimes. You see some of the funniest shit, bro. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know what moment was hilarious, the most hilarious in this video. Michael Cole falling out the chair when he barely got touched was great. And someone asking, are you okay, Michael? <laughs> he just, ooh. <laughs> that was fantastic. 
chef's kiss fantastic but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still going to speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace